Today I'm going to take a walk along the five kilometre long beach path in Sanua and show you a selection of hotels that you might want to consider that I think are worth looking at when trying to decide on a hotel in Sanua. All of these hotels have direct beach access and there's a path that runs right along the front of each of these hotels connecting them all together and some of the restaurants up and down the beachfront as well. So what does this mean? It means you can stroll out the front for an early morning sunrise, go and have a coffee at one of the many coffee shops, perhaps have lunch, dinner, lots of different eating options. It's a great place to be in Sanua. Let's start looking at some of these hotels. First up at the very southern end of town is the Mercure. Of course, the Mercure is a big name hotel. It is slightly isolated in the southern end there, and you might actually need to catch a cab into the main street of Sonora if you're interested in getting something to eat in the center of town. I'd say that as far as location goes, the Mercure is probably the worst out of all of these hotels, but it's still not bad because it's still beachfront. Around here, there are two main places to eat, the Genius Cafe and the Retro Beach Bar. They're both within walking distance of the beachfront. It has to be said that the Mercure is quite a popular hotel, despite being at the very southern end. Lots of people choose this hotel. It's obviously got a fairly good reputation because of that big name. Maybe it's an option. Prices at the Mercure started around the 1 million mark. Next up on our list of hotels along the beachfront in Sanoa is the Prama, which is an absolutely massive hotel, which again is extremely popular. Prama is quite far south, but it's still within walking distance of much of the dining scene in Sanoa. So you won't have a problem walking out the front and going out and finding a meal at night. You don't need to catch a cab, for example, to find something decent. The main eating sections are about 300 meters to the left when you come out of the front of the Prama. They have a couple of pools here that are absolutely massive and it seems like whenever I pass these pools kids absolutely love it because there's a big bucket of water which splashes into the pool every minute or so it's a little old school but gee the kids seem to absolutely love it despite the hotel being a little bit old school it's still one of the favorites in all of Sonora. The beach out the front's decent and there's heaps of lounge chairs for you to go and have a sunbathe on. Prices at the Prama started about the one and a half million mark. And moving just a little bit further north is the large resort called Puri Santrian. Again, extremely popular. Puri Santrian is your typical four-star resort. Perfect for families and perhaps just a little more well-regarded than the Prama. It's right next door to the Prama and has the same sort of access to restaurants and bars. So you can't really go wrong here as far as location goes because you can just walk up the beachfront and find a bunch of cafes and bars. The pool area by the beach is classy and you often see people lounging around the pool for hours. The thing about the Puri Santrian is that it's considered to be quite far south. Now, while that's not a massive problem, for some people that might be a deal breaker because you might need to catch a cab if you want to go into central Sanua. That said, there's still lots to see and do around the Puri Santarana. Prices here start at around the 2 million mark. So we've arrived at the Intercontinental Hotel and it's actually one of the best locations in Sonora in my opinion, along with the Hyatt Regency. The Intercon is the ex Fairmont and it's sort of stuck in a bit of no man's land right now, despite being a big brand. And what I mean by that is that it doesn't get great reviews despite it being a massive brand and being located in one of the best spots along the beach. It was renovated last year, so perhaps that will change people's views. The beachfront here is amazing. You've got great access to restaurants up and down the strip. And if you go out the back of the hotel, you hit the roundabout, which is the center of attention as far as all the good eats and bars are concerned in Sanua. Prices here started around the 3.2 million mark. So we're coming up to one of the most famous resorts in the whole of Sanua, the Hyatt Regency. The Hyatt is a massive sprawling property with tropical gardens and a fabulous restaurant right on the beach walk. It consistently receives rave reviews despite being not as modern as many of the newly built hotels in Bali. And I think that might be why people love it. It still has that old Bali charm, but the rooms are fresh and classy and it still has that Hyatt Regency feel of luxury. I've eaten here a few times and I absolutely love it. That restaurant down the front there is an absolute winner. It's called Pizzeria and they're doing Italian food. As far as location goes, it's absolutely centrally located, so you can go left or right and find bars and restaurants that are much cheaper than the in-house dining. But you can also go out the back of the hotel onto the main road, Jalandanao Tumblingan, and walk up and down there and find a few good places to eat, such as Salah and Massimo's. The beach area is amazing and so is the beachfront. Prices here start at about the 3 million mark, which is an absolute bargain for such a high quality hotel. Next up is Andas, which is my favorite hotel in the whole of Sanua. Andas is basically a modern flash version of the Hyatt. So everything that Hyatt does well, Andas does much better and on a much more modern level. That doesn't necessarily mean it's going to be better for everyone, but it just has a different vibe. The pools here are absolutely incredible. Every single room is massive. 
at about 60 square meters and the staff are fantastic. I did a review of Undust recently, so make sure you check that out. I'll put a link in the description. The thing I really love about Undust is it feels like you're in the middle of a jungle, but it also feels really modern. The pools are luxurious. The beachfront's pretty good as well. And the food here is absolutely unbelievable. So if you do stay here, make sure you get the included breakfast because I think it's got to be one of the best in the whole of Bali. Undust is in a fantastic location. You can go left or right, find restaurants and cafes quite easily, and it's easy enough to get out the back of the hotel there onto the main road and walk up and down and go shopping. Undust has one of the best locations in all of Sanua, along with the Hyatt as well. It's just such a good location because there are so many restaurants and cafes nearby. And if you head out onto that beachfront path, if you head left or right, within a kilometer of this hotel, you'll find absolutely everything you'll need for your stay in Sanua. Rooms at under start at about the 5 million mark. And if you've got the budget, you absolutely have to stay here. I think it's the best in Sanua. The Maya is the next hotel on my list. And I think it's a good one. The Mayor is a modern hotel with a big restaurant down by the beach. It also gets rave reviews and prices here are fairly reasonable for the quality. Again, if you turn left or right from the Mayor, there are plenty of eating options along the beach. But if you exit to the back of the hotel, you're right in the heart of all the action in Sonoa. The pool down the front is awesome. The food has really rave reviews and I've enjoyed a coffee and croissant down there a few times and I think it's really good. You're looking at about three million per night, which I think is pretty good value, especially because the location here is perhaps the best out of all the hotels. And if not the best, it's an absolutely fantastic location right in the thick of all the action. The Mayor is one of my top choices for all of Sanua. The beaches in Sanua are all relatively similar. So I wouldn't preference one hotel over another based on how good the beach is. I would actually put that quite far down the list of priorities when you're looking for a beachfront hotel in Sonoa because they're all pretty good. The other thing is each of these hotels is really well located. There's not a bad location out of any of them because they're right on the beachfront. And outside of each hotel is a beachfront path that connects the whole beachfront, five kilometers in length. So don't worry too much about location. Although if you want the perfect location, you're going to want something a little bit more central. And of course, a little bit more central means a lot more money. And we're now coming up to Gria Santrian. The Gria Santrian is another well-located hotel close to lots of eating options. Some of the rooms here have been renovated while retaining that old Bali charm, but some others are still not renovated and they're showing their age a little bit. Those of you who have visited Bali, say 30 years ago, will love the red bricks, the dark wooden grass roofs. But if you're into that more modern, sleek barley look, you might need to look somewhere else. Despite that, the gardens here are amazing. The beachfront location is fantastic. And there's a great pool down the front there, which you can hang out in, have a few cocktails. It's pretty cool. Because of that old school feel to it, you'll find a more older clientele. Prices here started around the 2 million mark. Next up, we have the Tanjung Sari. Every time I pass this place, I just, I think it's really classy. Tanjung Sari is an exceptional property, which makes the most of its beachfront location with tables and chairs plonked right in the sand and a bar right on the beach so you can while away the hours and have a few cocktails. Breakfast is served right along the beachfront as well and it's an extremely relaxing place to have a bite to eat. Tanjung Sari is widely praised and is your tropical Balinese oasis when you've had enough of walking up and down that beachfront. The location is sensational and there are plenty of food options nearby. Prices here are towards the upper end of what you can expect in Sanua, but people seem to think it's worth it. An entire bungalow with breakfast is going to set you back about four million per night and I think that's a pretty good deal. I've never stayed here before but if I was going to try out a new place in Sanua this would be one of the ones on top of my list. And we're now approaching the Hotel Raspati. The Raspati is one of the cheaper beachfront hotels in Sanua so if you're looking for absolute beachfront on a budget this could be the one for you. The location is fantastic and is only a short walk away from Sindhu Beach where there are lots of food options especially cheap ones. The rooms here are quite simple but you do get the barley warmth and hospitality and most people are going to be happy here. I really like that beachfront area there they've got a nice of lounge chairs and you can just go and dip your toes in every now and then go and get a drink at the bar and go back to your lounge chair so if you're looking for beachfront on a budget this is it one million is the price that the rooms start from you can't get a much better deal than that in all of Sonoa. so we're at the Sagara village the Sagara village is the most northerly hotel that i'm going to look at today and it's actually attached to the birdhouse restaurant which is this place And the reason it's the most northerly place that I'm going to review today is mainly because there's a massive dead zone north of here that doesn't really offer anything. That said, Sagara Village is a great location right next to the beach. 
and has close access to all those restaurants located down at Pantai Sindu. It's probably like 100 metres, 150 metres to all those warungs right on the beach like Amphibia. Right next door you've got Tootsies and Birdhouse. And Birdhouse is actually like right out the front, it's sort of attached to it. The Sagara Village is a pretty modern place and prices started around 2.2 million, which is not a bad deal for this end of town. So as you can see, there's a wide range of hotel options along the beach in Sanua. You definitely pay a premium for the privilege of being able to walk straight out onto the beach. But if location is important, there are plenty of great options to choose from. The only difficult part is finding the right one for you. Thanks for watching. Make sure you hit that subscribe button to keep up to date with all things Sanua. I'll catch you next time.